What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be, boom, Cyber Hunter. The developers have officially announced it for global release next Friday, April 26th. Are you excited? I definitely am. Get ready for it. Here's the official Discord announcement for you guys that want to check it out. I'm putting the official Discord link in the description. So if you want to go there and keep up on all the latest info of Cyber Hunter, make sure you go click on that and join the Discord server. For the rest of this video, I'm going to show you a fat juicy game I've won. Um, and you guys can see all the perspective of the game before it actually releases next week globally. So again, smash that subscribe button, hit a thumbs up. Let's check it out. Okay, so here we go, boys. We've got the new uh, load-up screen, uh, which has got some cool new 3D effects. Now, I mean, this load-up screen is probably one of the best-looking load-up screens I have ever seen on a mobile game. So let's get into it. Okay, so I'm just going to show you quickly the lobby screen, guys. This is basically the lobby screen. Uh, shows everything. We've got, obviously, the exchange rewards. We've got friends. We've got solos, duos, four-player squads. Um, I've already shown this in previous videos, guys. So I'm going to link at the end of this video. Um, it's going to be links to my previous Cyber Hunter videos. Uh, so in the meantime, I'm going to play um, some solos, and we're going to get into it. So it also looks like we've changed. They've changed the uh, the lobby loading screen as well, um, which is pretty cool. I mean, guys. I mean, I just just look, look at this game compared to all the other sort of games that are out there. I mean, just look at the graphics. Look at like the the smoothness of it is absolutely incredible. Like most mobile games, like Creative Destruction, um, the way you move your thumb isn't as smooth as usual. Um, I mean, I could go even higher on graphics, but I'm going to leave them. What I've got at the moment, because um, I think it, it it feels perfect, and yeah, I'm just going to change one thing though, because I don't even know why. There is a smiley face just there. So, here we go. First game of the day, let's, uh, let's get a dub. Right, I'm going to go on the map. I'm going to go to the Voidlands because this seems this seems to be the, the sort of more popular place. So I'm going to set it automatically, um, which should auto path straight to my marker. Um, so yeah, we're going to get off auto and go and check out down here and try and find ourselves a gun. I think there might be someone below me, so I'm just going to hop straight down here, go in the caverns just below. See if there's any weapons I need to find. Got some bandages, we've got some rare gloves to start us off, so let's go get some armor just here as well. We've got some epic armor starting us off, so that's a brilliant start. We've also got an assault rifle, the uh, the Liberty Alpha, which is absolutely amazing. Try and get the Omega Basic SMG. I think I will swap to an SMG just for the up close battles. So let's uh let's pop that on straight away. And uh yeah. Oh I will swap to the shotgun actually. We've I've got the killer killer whale shotgun, so Let's grab that. Oh, it's also got the T-Baron shotgun, guys. Now, in my opinion, I think the T-Baron shotgun is a lot better than the um, the Killer Whale. Um, but again, guys, I'll, I'll leave it to kind of your your opinion on that. Um, just having a look around. I don't think any enemies landed here, but we do have a sniper now, so we can swap to that. It's scoping on that. There we go. Sorted. So we have auto automatically got the scope on this sniper. So... Let me just check which sniper this is. This is the, uh, yeah, the the empty coffin, which is an epic. So I think this is one shot. No, it's a uh, it's a semi-auto rifle. So just calm the war here. We have already got the. Um, we do kind of need a red dot or something. I do hear some fire up here, so we are going to go towards it. Check it out. Do hear some fire over here, so we're going to get the sniper out just to get some scope on here. See if we can see some people. Yeah, we do have someone right there. Don't know why my map's coming out. That's very weird. She is running because she is pretty weak. So we're going to get straight on that. See where she is. She's ran up the hill. So she's just over here now. Do a couple of shots just there. Climb this. Putting the shield out. I'm now stuck on the wall. What a fantastic start. And there we go, we're dead. 
good start to the game, guys. Uh, there's again, guys. That's that's showing you off some of the glitches in the game. So there are some glitches still. Um, hopefully they're going to fix these before the global release. Um, but as you can see right now, we got stuck. So we're going to get straight into the next game. Okay, here we go. Game number two. We are going to drop back at the void place because, like I said, it is the most busy place here. We're going to try and survive it this time. I have switched to the girl, so let's see what she can do with a thick booty. Let's fly over here, see if we can find some enemies to kill. I'm just going to get some high ground, see if I can find some people. But that is very strange. Um, see anyone around. We do have some good equipment, though, so we can just carry on going. There are still 80 people left in the lobby, so... Oh, we do have a Soul Snatcher rifle, guys. Now, you always want to pick the Soul Snatcher. Soul Snatcher is, I believe, is a one-shot, so it's very, very powerful. I mean, the semi-auto rifles are good, but... If you've got good aim, and you can actually hit your hit your opponents, then... All you need is this. Got our first enemies just here. Let's get a soul sniper rifle shot just on him. It's a nice juicy headshot. So don't know where the other one is. Just there. So let's quickly see if we can tower up quickly. Get the high ground and then snipe. There it is. Let's grab the assault rifle out. Some shots on her. There we go. Med kit just here. There is four damage guys. So. You always want to make sure you obviously parachute out like this. But again, this is what makes it easier. Oh, hang on. We do have someone just here. Let's quickly scope in over there. Not sure what she's doing. Do see headshots on her. There we go. She did pop out a heal kit um, to try and, try and heal over me. But didn't quite work. So we got those headshots straight away, which is a good start. Um, I don't think anyone else is in the void, so I think we're pretty good to carry on going. There is another town just down here that I'm going to go to. Um, doesn't have a name, but it's a pretty big town, so we go check it out, see if we can scope some people with our sniper. We do only have a two times, so I would I would prefer a better scope with the um, with the soul snatcher because. Soul chat the soul snatcher with an, an eight times or a six times is absolutely amazing. So we got someone taking shots on us just down now. I do see his head, so we get a nice sniper shot if we can get that on his head. Pokes it. Pokes his head. Pop a little grenade over there just to scare him. Grenades are on impact guys as well, so they are pretty good. This dude's just here. Can't hit him on there, so we're going to get the red dot out and just spam the rifle on him. What we'll do is just go straight in. See if we can get him. He's just here, so... There we go. We've got some lasers on his head. And there we go. Oh, there is someone else shooting me, so I need to quickly roll out of here. Pop a little shield up as well. Don't have. Pop a hill station out just in case. Not sure where he shot me from. It's somewhere down the hill. Or I may have been somewhere from that distance. Really not sure. He's close to me somewhere. Just here. And there it is. Okay, we've got someone in front. Let's get the ports four times out and try and get a nice juicy headshot. There it is. And there we go. Let's move on to the next place. It's just a case of finding enemies and um, taking them out. Like there. go he's taken out there are still some bugs and glitches like i said for the low end devices you are going to stumble into sort of rendering things like that and stuff so yeah you just want to be careful at all times let's just get some high ground quickly
Getting that AR. There we go. Take her out. Let's just climb up here. See if we can uh, scope some enemies out with the four times. Now, guys, this is an interesting shotgun. For all you guys that didn't know, this shotgun um, heals you when you shoot people. So whatever damage you do to people will heal you. Um, so that's probably one of the best shotguns to have in a close-range fight. Because it'll be hard for people to actually shoot you. Now, there is someone below me. I'm going to try and get a grenade kill on this dude. Just down there. There we go. We've got a juicy grenade kill on him. I did use all my grenades, but guys, I'm just showing you how powerful the grenades are. They are, um, they do blow up on impact, so... <clears throat> yeah, you want to kind of, um... Use those kind of strategically. Yeah, I've got 500 quantum cores at the moment. Like I said, it only costs 60 to make a bike. It costs, uh... 45 to make a healing unit. Which you really want to pop off anytime you see an enemy. And you've also got a tower as well. Now, I'm pretty sure if you put a tower out... You could put a healing unit out on the tower. Yeah, so you can actually heal from there. And we are being shot from behind now. So I'm just going to scope off, see exactly where he is. There he is. Just pop off here. See if we can get a nice little headshot on him, wherever he is. Hello? Is he trolling? There we go. Again, guys, this is very optimized for any sort of mobile device, so you want to you wanna give it a chance. Um, if it's too slow or anything for your device, it just means you've got a really, really, really old device. But it's a really enjoyable game. We've got 17 people left, 10 kills at the moment. Let's, uh, oh, we've got someone just here. Try to get some headshots on him. There we go. Yeah, we do have a supply drop coming down just now from the sky. Supply drops do come down quite quickly, as you can see right there. Pretty much straight away. It takes, I'd say, 10 seconds for a supply drop to drop. Now, you always want to go from guys, because like I said, look, I just got an epic helmet. There's a Crusader Advanced Rifle, so I'll show you exactly what this does. Very powerful. It's very advanced. Got an enemy just here. So let's, uh, let's try it on this enemy. Exactly how powerful it is, and there it is. Someone behind me as well, shooting. Not sure where they are. Just gonna use a med kit just to heal up. It's popping adrenaline as well. I do see her just now. Right in the toe. Yeah, that's, uh, there's three people left, so here's one of them. Oh, uh, wow. I really need to change my map overlay. My map's uh, probably a bit too close to where I actually shoot, which is, uh, which is very annoying. And we just got an ad, which is really weird. Probably the worst place to get an ad. He is just around here. I do see him just there. See if we can get, uh, see if we can get a no-scope on him. He doesn't seem to be shooting. I think this might be a bot. We did get a no scope on him. Uh, this rifle does show up when there's a when you shoot someone thermal. So again, this rifle is absolutely amazing. Best rifle on the game. And I do believe the last dude is just behind us. So I do see him just there. Uh, so what I'll do is troll him a little bit. Let's get a bike out, ride into him, and get a. Juicy, juicy no scope. Okay, we did miss, so that's not gonna, not quite gonna work. So I will go for a no scope, guys, just to get the last sixteenth kill. Let's just see exactly where he is. It's just gonna be hovering just up here behind this tree. There's one no scope. Now we've made her thermal. Let's go for the other one. Got a couple of good shots. There we go. 
Um, and there we go, guys. That's the uh, that's basically Cyber Hunter, guys. There are again a few bugs and glitches. The official global release is on the twenty uh, sixth of April, so make sure you check it out. And um, yeah, uh, they're gonna fix those glitches and bugs before the actual global release. So let me know in the comments exactly what you think about that. That's a nice little sixteen kill game just to show you all the mechanics and stuff of Cyber Hunter. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, whack a thumbs up on the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, boy!